Oh, that was Jack at Sally's wedding. He was so proud walking her down the aisle. Give a wonderful speech. There was no sign of what was to come, though. I mean, we really didn't think anything of it at first. Occasionally you forgot things. I mean, nothing important. I guess I ended up gradually doing more things for him, so it wasn't really obvious. But, but looking back, that was the start. And then it became really obvious. Memory problems, occasional confusion. I knew something was wrong, but how are ordinary people like us supposed to know these behaviours need to be investigated? Oh, here he is with the grandchildren. That was sad. Most of the time, they loved being with him. He was such fun. But occasionally, he forgot their names. But they were so young, that they never understood. He went to see our GP. We'd known him for years. She warned us it might be dementia. We were sent to a memory clinic. <laughs> I didn't even know there was such a place as a memory clinic. Anyway, Jack had uh, various tests there and we were told that he, he did have dementia. That was an awful moment. I mean, we were half expecting it, but I suppose until it's confirmed, you always hope it might be something else. Those first few months were terrible. I mean, we tried to get hold as much information as we could and we read everything there was to read. I don't know who it was harder for, Jack or me. He was well then. He, he knew exactly what was going on. He felt like he'd been given a slow death sentence. But who do you talk to when you feel like this? For a while, he, he was very low. Slowly, we were able to move on.